Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my job shop. My name's Keith and I'm your host. Today we have a short video for you, just kind of showing you a setup. All right. Some setups are the majority of the project and some setups are hardly anything. But this one here is actually more involved in the setup than it is on the machine work for sure. All right, what we have is a customer has got a two inch drop spindle installation kit. So he has a couple spindles modifying uh, brake systems and he needs the steering arms to be shaved down an eighth of an inch on the two pads here. And this is, by the way, this is, uh, this is for 1958 to 70 GMB bodies. All right. So the steering arms, you gotta have that surface, that surface right there milled down. And they're an odd shape, so they're not really any easy way to actually clamp these down. Um, I've, I've heard of guys uh, clamping this down on one port and machining the other and then going there and machining that, maybe toe clamp and a couple of other clamps or whatever. And I wanna do the thing positively in line and all at once and in a safe manner. I don't, I hate, I hate kicking things out of the mill or the lathe or any machine. All right, I'm pretty sure that's going to be close enough to catch the whole thing. This is a block of tooling. That's what I call my material that's not for my customer. Anything that's in the shop, if it's not for a project, it's for tooling. <laughs> so we had this chunk of square. I didn't even have to cut it off the length. It was in the it was in the bend just like that. I did hit it on the sander just to dress off the sides so we took our block and we put it in the mill vise here we made sure we locked it down and everything's 100 percent we haven't moved it since we put it in here and the whole job is all just you know you machine your platform here that you're going to mount your piece and then do your work and then you can pull it out and this this part can jig back in here if any other customers want me to do the modification to the steering arm for the same project all right, so I drilled two holes, and those two holes were to drop these pins in here to locate the two holes so that the part would be rigid and wouldn't go flying off of anything. Now, the two surfaces we're cutting are straight in line with each other, but the two on the opposite side are different planes, okay? There's, there's a half an inch difference of height. So we took our turbo end mill and we milled all out here and then we went down each side here because the ear on the small end has got to hang hang off the side over here and then when you put the opposite hand on here it overhangs over here In fact, I'm going to go ahead and I just noticed right there and there. This is just a rough surface there, but that one there looks like it might be even making contact yet. Let me see on this side here. It might be just lightly touching there as well. Okay, so we're going to hit that. Hit that little area there and that one over there with the sander. But let me get back to how we're going to hold this down. Um, now, I don't have toe clamp capabilities to come in from the side or anything, so I decided to put in two stud holes on each side here. So I just drilled and tapped two 7 16 holes on here. Um, that's the size I just happen to want to use in this project here. Uh, drop a aluminum pad, just something softer than the block coming in and catching a little bit more and then we're just going to run two flat washers right there and like so we probably ran that stud in just a little bit too much there all right then we can tighten it down and then we'll be able to come in on each side of the clamp with this cutter here and we'll be able to take that eighth inch off okay I'm going to take a break. I'm going to just grind a little clearance right here with my sander. It's, in fact, it's probably just sanding. It doesn't need to be actually ground. Um, get a little clearance there, and then we're going to make sure we're holding down, and we'll come back in. Okay, we uh, 
fit it up. Paper goes underneath there, it's as good as a mile, right? Okay, we got clearance there. We know that it's not hitting anywhere except for on our two pads down in here. There we go. That thing is stout. All right, now we'll come in and we'll touch off and we're gonna take our eighth of an inch off of here. It's gonna be kind of unique. This eighth of an inch is actually gonna come down into this material a little bit out in here or whatever, but um, it is what it is. That's what the kit calls for. Okay, we're gonna mark that off as zero. We're just gonna take 25 here off of this at a time here. Sounds a little better. Take, take another 25. We don't need to punish it. It's giving a pretty good finish right there. Eight twelve, eight thirteen. So we got about twenty-two thousands for our final cut, and it's been taking twenty-five each pass, no problem, <clears throat> and looking real clean. And uh, I, I'm getting a mixture of uh, skipping the cut as it's going across. So my head's pretty well trammed in. I remember tramming it in, and. Um, and of course, you always notice that with a, a shell cutter or a wheel cutter. And it's going to be well close enough for this project here. And we'll take this surface, put it down on the lapping pad over there, and just kind of touch it off when we're all done to deburr it. All right. <clears throat> 
Here we go, 22,000 for a finished cut here. Well, there we are, second one, right on the money, within within a thousandth. Hey, before I wrap up and conclude here on this video, um, with the project on the uh, the kit here that we helped them fit up let's take a quick look at something i've been working on for the last couple days all right you know i set up and i was doing the scanning on the handles and i made a couple practice prints here that was a long handle. And here's the short handle. I printed in CPE material uh, just to get the feel of printing these parts. And I, I print them laying down on my table like that and like that. This one here was about a day long. This one was about a day and a half long uh, as far as printing them. And I was checking dimensions and kind of looking at the fill and everything else that I have to put on the back side. But uh, I'm real happy uh, with my scanning and getting into the product making from scanning and into printing. As I'm venturing on, I'm pretty happy with uh, my results in the last couple days. So I just thought I'd share that with you. All right, we're pretty happy with those. There you go. Nice finish on them. We know that they're flat. They're down to the dimension that they need to be. All right, I hope uh, gave you a little encouragement on setting up, out-of-the-box thinking. Until next time, get it done.